Hello everyone, welcome to Primal Fitness Systems once again. And if you've been keeping up with my YouTubes and reading articles on my site, you know I am really big into rotational strength. And I'm going to start out with a couple of basic moves. I have a number one band here. You think, well that's not a whole lot of tension. No it isn't, but the important thing is learning the move using your hips and trunk and then let the arms follow. You use too much tension, you're going to start pulling. It's not going to be a rotational exercise, it's going to be more of a lat exercise. So that's why you want to start off with a number one band and proceed from there. And a good position to start in is something that's just about parallel to the shoulder. And if you use a rag, it makes it a lot easier. And also if you wrap it thick, you get to work your grip, some finger strength. So you extend out here. You can see my hips are driven forward. I'm going to execute the move with my hips, with my torso, and then the arms follow. Remember, it's a trunk exercise. That's what you want to work. So you start out, move, and extend. Thrust the hips forward, use your trunk, and move. Extend. And once you learn that move, you could take your band, you'd put it up high, you could put it down low. It's always important to work from different angles. We could add a little bit of a twist to it. So you start in the same position. So you, you go from rotation, you add flexion and extension. You start here, come around and down. A third position to work this trunk rotation is to get down on one knee. And again, you're gonna activate the hammies, you're gonna activate the glutes in order to stabilize the body so the trunk does the action. Start with an extended position and move. Twist. Then you wanna add a little bit more flexion and extension. You take it, go down. Twist, extend. Twist, extend. Then to make it even more complicated, you get down on both knees. You could be parallel to the band, or you could be perpendicular away from the band. So I'll demonstrate the first one, where my body is parallel to the band. Then add some flexion and extension. Then I'll turn away so my back is to the band. And this, you've really got to use your trunk muscles so it doesn't pull you back. You start around. And there you have several variations of working your trunk muscles. And I don't like to call it core, I like to call it trunk because it entails all the muscles within this area, the upper glutes, and the muscles down deep that are attached to the spinal cord. So try those exercises out, work on high reps, 10 to 20 reps, and you'll feel a difference.